Hi everyone, it's Kitsune77 here, and um, I'm going to be doing a Let's Play on, my opinion, the best real-time strategy game out there. It is absolutely amazing, and I'm going to show you how to do it. Right now, this is an awesome game, I just want to show it to you. Um, it might be a bit hard to find now, but check Walmart. It, had a good deal on it. I might actually play um, Tom Clancy's End War because this is what it came with. Bundle 877. So we're going to go new campaign here. No, I don't want to play the tutorial. Uh, I love that. Negotiations break down. To no one's surprise, following their early intransigence, NATO diplomats yesterday walked out of the Malta Peace Conference. Funny, funny picture. Peace is not on their agenda. Only threats and deception and endless profits for the capitalist war machine. But our brave comrades in the armed forces will not be intimidated. They stand vigilant along the Jordan border. Their resolve was inevitable. Our massive preparations had gone far too long for us to simply stand down. Even though that actually happened in real life, that they just stood down and collapsed, but yet this game is sort of about what happens if they didn't collapse. So that that's what it's cool about it. What if the Soviet Union didn't collapse? So, yeah, I'm going to be quiet during the cutscenes. For those of you who want to hear them. Oh. Well, sort of quiet. Um, the graphics in this game are okay. I mean, like, the video graphics are okay. Like, they're not great, but they're okay. Um, it's sort of two years old, and that would be a good explanation, but they're pretty good. Um, it's by Ubisoft Massive, and I'm surprised that they didn't mention Sierra, because they played a major part in this, and if you know, Sierra has been known for the real-time strategy games. Empire Earth, World in Conflict... Oh, I, I can't name any others because I haven't played any others by Sierra. That's about it. So yeah, here's World in Conflict's so Ovid Assault. No one's talking yet, so I guess I'll fill in. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if Melico played this. Oh, oh, I'll shut up now. East Berlin. That's what everyone thinks. I guess the most important person is you. I mean yourself, right?
Ooh, West Berlin. Yes, we're crossing. We are crossing into West Berlin. Even though that would have been extremely hard because of the Berlin Wall. And skadoosh. Now, the in-game graphics are okay to good. I mean, they're pretty good for that era. It's Ooh, Plan Odessa. Okay, so what, what we basically have to do here is destroy anti-aircraft guns. Yes, anti-aircraft guns. Something they might need tomorrow. <laughs> shoot. Come on, shoot them. Go. Okay. Oh, oh, I, I... That happens all the time. I don't know why. I might just be a glitch. Oh, that that was a glitch. He, he turned black. Um, glitch right there. The gun's okay, but he he's no. Now each unit has a special ability. One pass it. Was it passive or defensive? One defensive and one offensive. But not everyone has an offensive. But every unit has a defensive. This one has sprint, but it doesn't seem to let you use it. Whatever. I might have to break this up into two parts. Yes, anti-aircraft guns. Useful. They make an e bigger explosion. But, you know what I don't get, though? Don't you think they would notice? I mean, even though they're silenced and all? Don't you think they notice, like, this guy's standing beside this guy, this guy's gonna get creamed, and then... No, oh, never mind. But don't you think the other guards in the area would sort of notice? I mean, there's, like, a whole bunch of guys over here, and the second they come back, don't you think they're gonna notice a bunch of dead bodies on the ground? And then check their anti-aircraft guns. Yes, we're placing explosives. Wonderful. So this is the Berlin Wall now. Have a look at it today. Well, an hour from now it won't move two of my tanks into the circle while firing on that. Did it do damage? No. I don't know why, but it seems that the Russian tanks only do this, but the American tanks don't. I, I don't know why. Yes, uh, it gives me all these tips that I hate. Oh, I have tactical aid points that I can use. Uh, this looks like the United Nations building. That wasn't just one heavy artillery, that was three. Okay, that one a little fast. Hmm. 
I believe that's how they say shit. Roger that. I guess I'll just capture the bridge, you know, no big deal. I'm expected to do everything in this game. Absolutely everything. Okay, I have to... Oh... Yes, I forgot about that. Didn't make it very clear though. Ah, oh, those of you who have played this game before know sort of what's coming. Ooh, incoming helicopters. As if I'm worried. Oh, look at it fall. Oh, lovely. More enemy choppers. Let's ca watch the birdie, shall we? Oh, oh, poor thing. Landed on its back. Oh, oh, okay, so there's artillery over here that I just want to take out. They're not very fun. Trust me, they're not. Looks like I'm going to get them before the tank busters. <laughs> so that's three of them. It, it, it does a very good job at dispatching any enemies in the area. Ah, uh, stupid heavy artillery. It doesn't work very well on them when they move. Expect a counter attack. Blah blah blah. You're such a bore. Do do do. Come on, I want 32 tactical aids and use it on tactical aid points. So I can use it on something worthwhile like these enemies that didn't get destroyed by that. I'll use it on these buildings and it's too bad I can't blow the bridge. Blowing it up would be a smashing idea, but I need laser guided bombs for that. I thought he said monkey bridge for a second. Reassigning you to Section B. 